life is just accomplishing something that I've been dreaming of, you know, my whole life. Hearing that that sentence from Adam Silver, you know, I, I've dreamed of it so so much that, you know, I, <laughs> I gotta cry, man. Eve, Oscar, Victor's siblings, there were tears for you guys. What has it been like watching your brother in this pursuit? That's amazing. We're all so proud. We are very happy for you. We are, we are happy for the family, for the friends, for everything, for the basketball. That's so amazing. Yeah. yeah I knew that I was, I was gonna tear in, uh, gonna have tears because uh, every time I thought of uh, the this sentence, like uh, with the first pick and everything, I got this little tears in my eyes, and I knew that I wasn't gonna let let them in uh, in my eyes. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> Victor, I do have to ask you though, you have been labeled generational talent. So many people are thrilled about your potential in the NBA. Awesome. And you have said that you don't feel pressure because it's just basketball. How do you begin to leave your mark on this league? You know, I'm a, I don't know, you know, it's, it's a tough league. It's tough to win, to win this league. You know, many players have tried to win for, for, for years, for decades and haven't made it. So. My goal is to, I'm, I'm going to try and learn as quick as possible because I want to win that ring. With the 12th pick in the 2023 NBA Draft, the Oklahoma City Thunder select Derek Lively II from Duke University. Derek Lively from Duke. 82 blocks, the most in a season by a Duke freshman since Block became official in 85-86. But Lively's story, it's really just remarkable. He's sharing this moment you can see there with his mother, Kathy, who played basketball at Penn State and is the reason that he plays. He calls her a superhero, and Kathy had a 10-year battle with cancer and thankfully went into remission in July of 2022. And he told me that his proudest moment it was using his NIL money to buy Kathy a house near Penn State where she works now. His father passed away when he was young and he told me that certainly as Adam Silver just called his name, their shared name, the one he shares with his father, he will be on his mind. He, he's just an incredibly special player. And Bobby Marks, I know you were able to have a conversation with him. I was able to sit down with him and I've interviewed a lot of draft prospects in my tenure and there's only been two. Jimmy Butler in 2011 and Derek Lively the second where it brought out my emotions where I had to leave the room here and certainly an incredible story. It means every something to everyone this draft. It means something extra special to Derek Lively the second. A tremendous young man. He also used a portion of that NIL money to buy his father a tombstone something that he was not able to have up until this past year. In the 2023 NBA draft, the New Orleans Pelicans select Jordan Hawkins from the University of Connecticut. National champion Jordan Hawkins, an emotional moment that he is sharing with his parents. He's described his parents as the hardest working people I know and that everything I do is to make them proud. A moment with his agent Ty Sullivan of CAA. He has four siblings that are also here. He shot 50% from the floor, 21 of 42 from three in his six game run to the championship with UConn. A winning player, a big time player. He improved his points per game by just over 10 from two seasons ago. That's a huge jump, the largest actually by a UConn player over the last 25 years. And of course, you might know his cousin fellow national champion at LSU, Angel Reese. But Andrea, you see glimpses of former Husky greats in his game. With the 16th pick in the 2023 NBA Draft, the Utah Jazz select Keontae George from Baylor University. Keontae George from Baylor headed to the Utah Jazz. 
He scored 506 points last season, the second most in a season by a freshman in Baylor history. His dad was actually a pro in France, and he's come a long way. We, we spoke earlier this week, and he told me that when he was in high school, he had an abscess in his hip, and he was supposed to just be in the hospital for a day, but he was there for, for weeks, and he thought he'd never play basketball again. And really, that gave him a, a new appreciation, Jay, for the game that he loves so very much. Yeah, he is a shot maker and a shot creator, that combination. He's poised, uh, has a good feel for the game, especially on the offensive end. Good quickness, he's athletic, and I think he's got all the tools to be a good defender. It's one thing his efficiency probably needs to improve. Uh, he had some turnovers, took some tough shots, but he played on a team of shot creators with LJ Cryer and Adam Flagler. That was the, the best trio of guards in America that Scott Drew had at Baylor. And, Deontay George, one of the, the big reasons why. With the 27th pick in the 2023 NBA Draft, the Charlotte Hornets select Nick Smith Jr. from the University of Arkansas. An emotional moment for Nick Smith Jr., for his family, Sharing this with his parents, Nick and Candace, his grandparents, Gloria, Michael, Verlinda. He played just 17 games last season, but he told me that he keeps it all in perspective. He said that's not true adversity. True adversity is not knowing where your next meal is coming from. And that was the case for so many people that he grew up with, he said. And that's what he tries to keep in mind. His parents actually had him in college. He used to go to the gym with his dad. They share an emotional embrace here. This is just a reminder that this isn't just about basketball. This isn't just about taking the next steps in the NBA. This is about dreams coming true for human beings, for real people. And you can see that emotion painted all over his face as he is walking into his future in the NBA. Just an incredible moment for Nick Smith Jr. and his family. Extended hugs all around. Because you really want to soak this in. This moment, you know, it, it only happens once. Every single player that has heard their name called yeah. on draft night remembers that moment. It will live as part of their story and journey, and it's an incredible feeling. And for someone like him, who was the number one player in his high school class, dealing with an injury, potentially could have been a lottery pick had he not been hurt and dealt with that last year waiting around all night to hear his name called. Just an incredible moment for this young man. Play a level of high level basketball in high school. Bobby, thank you. Leonard Miller getting his moment with Deputy Commissioner Mark Tatum. Sometimes when you wait around, when you are just hoping to hear your name, that embrace, like this, this is what makes this so special, JJ. It really is. And the emotions coming out.